So what we're really looking to do is we're really looking to broaden the impact and help people learn about new science, help people keep abreast of what's most exciting in bioconjugate chemistry. What bioconjugate chemistry is is an interesting question. Uh, different people have different opinions. My view is that it really is the interfacing of the synthetic and the biological world, either covalently or non-covalently. What we focus on is interfacing the synthetic world with the biological world. We work on a bunch of different systems. We do nanoparticles for sensing and delivery. We also do biocompatible surfaces for applications like tissue engineering and wound healing. Well, what sets bioconjugate chemistry apart from other journals is the fact that bioconjugate chemistry is the one journal that's focused at that synthetic biology interface. Its focal point is there. Other journals will cover that area, but we really focus on that point. Well, you know, publishing is the way that everybody can give back to the community. And I really wanted this job because I felt like this was a way that I could really help bring biological science and synthetic chemistry together so that they could actually do more than they would independently. And this just journal provides a great platform for that. I moved to the area of bioconjugate chemistry because what I really enjoy is I really enjoy sometimes being able to get things right and sometimes being and getting them wrong. And what that means is that, you know, sometimes we can engineer a biological interface that gives us exactly what we want. Other times it'll give us something different, and that something different can often be more interesting than what we set out to do. So I like an area where there's still room to explore and there's still surprises, pleasant surprises in particular. Bioconjugate chemistry is a great place to subscribe to for people in, in a wide variety of areas, including pharmaceutical sciences, anybody who's doing uh, biological chemistry, people that are doing chemical biology, uh, researchers in the biomedical field, as well as people that are doing interesting conjugate systems, for example, DNA origami, these sorts of things. They're all gonna be represented in this journal. I would say take a look at your research and if it really is about interfacing biological and chemical tools, techniques, or systems, I think it could be a very good fit. If you have questions, you can contact the editorial, the editors and, the, uh, and myself, and uh, we can help you decide whether, you're, whether this is a good venue. I think the best advice I ever got was try to figure out where science is gonna be in five years and get yourself there in four years. The great thing about it is that if you get it right, you're a rock star. If you get it wrong, at least you've taken yourself into new areas that, are really, that, that you're going to find really interesting rather than rehashing the same old material.